Hello! We have got some starting information for Emily. This is not meant to be a conclusive guide. This is a brief TLDR overview. Thankfully, her kit's very simple. Are you ready? I'm only gonna explain this twice. What you use her elemental skill, she does damage. You use her elemental burst, it does damage and replaces her elemental skill. She does more damage when enemies are on fire and she does less damage when enemies are quickened. So you play her in a burning team and she just does a lot of damage. How much damage does she do? She actually does the same damage as Chiori in most teams. Uh, she can out damage Chiori in teams with Deepwood. The thing about Deepwood in Emily teams is Emily is not going to play in double Dendro teams. You have to put your Deepwood set on a character that you might otherwise not. The example for this is something like a Risley team. So if you were to play Risley, Emily, Toma, Bennett, uh, Toma's optimal set could end up being Deepwood to get extra damage out of Emily. So if Risley is in the team doing 700k damage, Emily is also doing 450. You can do Deepwood Shungling, but at that point, I feel like the trade-off isn't really worth it, even though it might be worth it on paper. In practice, eh, maybe not. Now, I did mention Chiori as well. There are actually, you can play Chiori teams with Emily, basically. <laughs> you can play. Uh, what do I mean by that? You can play Arlequino or Linny with Emily Bennett Zhongli, and it is as good as Chiori, except you'd lose that on the Geo Resonance buff, but she can make up for it just by doing a little bit more damage. Eh, take it or leave it, but it is an option and it is available. Emily really does shine in teams where you are kind of taking advantage of the fact that there is burning. So stuff like Riesli, uh, Riesli Melt or Nivellet Vape, what do I mean by Nivellet Vape? I mean Nivellet, Emily, Xiangling, and then another character, whether that be Zhongli or Farina, where if the team is viable with Farina, that remains to be seen and is something we'll have to be investigating over the course of beta. Much like Risley, you can also play Gun Yu. Gun Yu with uh, Emily, Dia, Bennett, or Xiangling instead of Dia, since Gun Yu can't really proc Toma. If you do play Gun Yu, you want to use Gun Yu's burst. It's very worth using. Anyone who tells you Gun Yu's burst is a DPS loss doesn't really know what they're talking about. Ganyu's Burst is very good. Other team options I'm looking at, what I expect to actually be her best, general best team is Farina, Sengling, Bennett, where you on-field Emily somewhat. Uh, the other thing we need to look at are teams with self-perpetuating burning, which is entirely dependent on how much Dendro Emily applies. But if she does apply enough Dendro for them, at least in single target, you might really like uh, Navia, Emily, Zhongli, Bennett, or Navia, Emily, Chiori, Bennett. I think this is a little sus and it just doesn't work in multi-wave content, but A, it's an option if you really don't want to play Shangling. If you really hate playing Shangling, you can theoretically play Emily in there. Thing I didn't mention earlier, she's got set options and weapon options. Set options, Unfinished Revere uh, or Golden Troop. If your team has no Deepwood on it, Deepwood is also a very competitive set option for her. Unfinished Revere is better than Golden Troop on Emily, since her Ascension 1 passive, which is the reward for playing in a burning team, does not do elemental skill or elemental burst damage. So Unfinished Revere is the only real way to increase its damage from a set, just besides Tupi's Tupi's, Tupi's Tupi's will also do that. But yeah, if there's no Deepwood in the team, Deepwood is very competitive as a four piece set on her. If your team can easily flex in a unconventional Deepwood character, Unfinished Revere is great. Please do not be confused. Despite Emily playing in burn teams, burn itself still does no damage and is inconsequential at best. Emily's build is crit, attack, dendro. Burning damage? More like, no, stop doing that. Burning is just a vehicle for her to do damage. Her weapon options... She doesn't have a lot of free-to-play friendly weapon options, but she does have a lot of weapon options. She can effectively use any five-star weapon, whether that be like Staff of Homa, Staff of Scarlet Sands, Primordial Jade Wing Spear, Skyward Spine. They're all okay on her in varying forms. Uh, she has a signature five-star weapon that is her best in slot. Her four-star weapon options are the Battle Pass weapon, Deathmatch. After that, uh, Missive Wind Spear is pretty good from an event weapon if you happen to be playing back then. There is also Favonius Lance. And if you're really desperate, Blackcliff is always available. I never like recommending Blackcliffs though. Yes, she is bricked without 
burning. She doesn't apply Dendro at level 1 turrets. It takes her a while to apply Dendro. You're going to lead with her burst, so hopefully this isn't an issue. Uh, what are my opinions about Emily? There was a lot of initial excitement when there was rumors she snapshot. Uh, those rumors were in a, a misreading of the data by pro one of the community's prominent data miners or information hosts. Unfortunately, she has never she never snapshot. It was misinformation or a mistake, which is understandable, but it sucks. Oh, well, we got our hopes up. It is what it is. Snapshot is dead. She's a pretty good character. She does like Chiori damage. She plays in pretty similar teams to Chiori, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and she can really shine where you take advantage of the burning, unlike Chiori, who can only really play double Geo teams. She's okay. It's just like Chiori. Her value depends whether or not you're interested in playing the teams with her. She is a best in slot for the teams with her, but whether or not you're invested in playing the Emily teams is... A little up in the air. Yeah, it's a little questionable. Uh, she is a good character. She does have good teams, but again, people may not want to play the teams. Cool.